If you know your HTML5, you'll know that for the first time in over a decade, it made it perfectly legal to get rid of the quotes around an attribute value as long as that value didn't contain any spaces or other special HTML characters. This is now perfect HTML5 code. And it occurs to me that we could speed up our page loading ever so slightly by getting rid of a lot of the extra quotation marks in this document. Let's start with the ID attributes. I'm going to select the word ID and the equal sign that follows it. And then on the find menu, I can use quick find all, which by the way is control command G or alt F3 on windows to select every occurrence of this in the document using multiple selection. You can see I have three selection regions active now. And if I scroll down, I can see another one here. With all three selected, I can now use this multiple selection to get rid of the quotes in every case. I hit a right arrow and then press the delete key to get rid of the first quote and then holding down option or alt on windows, I'll move to the end of the ID value and then hit the delete key again in order to get rid of the second quotation mark. Using a single edit, we have now removed the extra quotation marks from every ID attribute in our document at once. We can do this for the class attributes as well, but we need to look out for special cases like this one where there is a space in the attribute value. We can't get rid of the quotation marks on this particular one, but there are plenty where we can. So this requires a more fine grain selection method. Now I'll start by selecting the second class attribute. It's the first one that will qualify for removing its quotation marks. And I'll show you how to build up a multiple selection using matches. We've previously seen that the command D or control D keyboard shortcut on windows will select the current word. But if you already have a selection, what it does is find the next match and add it using a multiple selection. You can see that I now have two class attributes selected. And if I continue hitting command D or control D on windows, it'll continue adding class attributes to my multiple selection. Now, when I get to this one, I don't actually want this class attribute in my selection because its attribute value contains spaces. So I would like to skip it. And the way you can skip it is by hitting command K or control K before continuing. K stands for skip in my mind. So command K and then command D to move on to the next one. And you can see that I've left this one out, but moved on to the next one. And I can continue doing this as I move through my file skipping the ones that need skipping and leaving in the ones that are going to qualify for removing their quotation marks. Now, if you do this a little too quickly, you might accidentally leave in a class attribute that you meant to leave out. You can fix this by using the undo selection command, which is command U or control U on windows. It'll undo the last selection action that you took. And then you can go back to skipping this one before moving on to the next one. So command U is kind of like a rewind for multiple selection actions. Again, I'm going to skip this one, work through to the end of my file until it bounces me back to the first class attribute at the start of my file. This is the one I skipped previously, but my selection search has wrapped back to the start of the file. So I would actually like to undo that last selection. And now I have all of the class attributes in my file that qualify for having their quotation marks removed, selected. I can now go ahead and delete the quotation marks the same way I did for the ID attributes all at once. As you can see, I've now successfully removed the quotes from every class attribute where it's allowed, but the ones that need the quotes still have their quotes. So be on the lookout for opportunities to use multiple selection this way, where the edit you want to make is more complex than what you can do with a simple find and replace. And remember that you can use those skip and undo features to refine the exact selections where your changes will apply.